Welcome to the Kim Ludd channel. Today, we're taking you underground, literally. We're about to explore one of Europe's most impressive engineering feats, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel. This groundbreaking project is set to reshape transportation across the continent, connecting Denmark and Germany in a way that promises to revolutionize travel and trade. But with every great project comes great challenges. Can this tunnel overcome the significant technical and political hurdles to meet its grand ambitions? Buckle up as we uncover the mega scale of Europe's new mega tunnel and dive into the fascinating innovation behind it. Imagine a tunnel so long that it will be the world's longest road and rail tunnel, stretching from northern Germany to Lolland, Denmark, and further linking to Zealand and Copenhagen. This tunnel is set to bridge the gap between Central Europe and Scandinavia, drastically cutting down travel times. Currently, the ferry ride from Lolland to Feymarn takes about 45 minutes, not including the waiting and boarding time. Once the Feymarn Belt Tunnel is completed, that travel time will shrink to just 10 minutes by car and a mere seven minutes by train. The high-speed rail line within the tunnel will reach speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour, transforming the way people and goods move across this vital route. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel will replace the busy ferry service currently managed by Scandlines, which operates between Rodby and Puttgarden. This new tunnel will streamline transportation and enhance connectivity between Lolland and the broader European network, making travel smoother and more efficient. But what makes this tunnel truly unique? It's an innovative approach to its design. Underwater tunnels can be constructed using different methods, mainly tunnel boring and immersion. Tunnel boring is typically used for deeper water tunnels, while immersion is more suited for shallower waters. Immersion involves dredging a trench on the seafloor, placing precast concrete tunnel sections into the trench, and then covering them with backfill. For the Feymarn Belt Tunnel, the designers have opted for the immersion method. When completed, this tunnel will set records as the world's longest immersed tunnel, surpassing the 13.5-kilometer Marmaray Tunnel in Turkey. The project is being led by a consortium of Ramble, Arup, and Tiek, and the tunnel will be the longest combined road and rail tunnel globally, the longest underwater road tunnel, and the deepest immersed tunnel accommodating both road and rail traffic. Construction of the tunnel will require a huge trench, 40 to 50 meters wide and 12 to 15 meters deep, with around 20 million cubic meters of soil to be dredged. Conventional dredging equipment is typically limited to about 25 meters in depth, so specialized dredging barges will be used to reach the required depths. The precast concrete tunnel sections will measure about 40 meters wide and 10 meters high, featuring four passageways, two for cars, two for trains, and a small service passageway. The road tubes will be 11 meters wide, each with two travel lanes and a breakdown lane, while the train passageways will be six meters wide and 10 meters high in both directions. A three meter wide service passageway will also be included. The tunnel's design includes 79 basic sections, each stretching 2,117 meters. It will not just be a tunnel, but a complex system with road tubes, rail tubes, an emergency tube, and service elements. The service elements, which are like the tunnel backstage, will be wider and taller with a subfloor to house all the technical equipment, ensuring that everything runs smoothly. This subfloor will function as a sort of basement managing all the essential systems that keep the tunnel operational. Building a project of this scale requires enormous financial backing, and the Feymarn Belt Tunnel is no exception. When the Danish parliament approved the project in March 2009, the estimated cost was 42 billion Danish krone, roughly 5 billion euros. 
This estimate included enhancements like upgrading 160 kilometers of railway on the Danish side, bringing the total to 5.5 billion euros in 2011. The German government committed at least 1 billion euros for the German rail connection. The primary funding for the tunnel will come from state-guaranteed loans, which will be repaid through road and train tolls. Denmark will handle the majority of the funding, amounting to around 4.7 billion euros, while Germany will cover the development of land-based facilities on its side of the border. Denmark will own the fixed link, keep toll revenues after loan repayment, and benefit from job creation at toll stations. The collected fees will also be used to upgrade the Danish railway system. Recognizing the significance of the project, the European Union has classified the Feymarn Belt Tunnel as one of its 30 prioritized transport infrastructure projects, committing a subsidy ranging from 600 million to 1.2 billion euros. This substantial investment is expected to yield a 5% rate of return for Europe. The construction timeline stretches from April 1, 1998 to 2021, and the estimated cost now stands at an impressive 7.5 billion euros. However, the project isn't without its hurdles. The concept of a crossing over the Feymarn Belt has been discussed since before Germany's reunification. Critics argue that the Cold War era vision of connecting Copenhagen and Berlin might be outdated, with some proposing alternative solutions like the Gedzer Rostock Bridge, which could better connect Eastern Germany and Scandinavia. Local objections have also arisen, including concerns about job losses related to the existing ferry service and increased traffic, particularly from freight trains. Noise concerns, especially regarding potential train noise, have led to realignments of the planned railway route. Additionally, some question the economic justification of the project, with fears that traffic predictions might be overly optimistic. The European Court of Auditors has criticized the planning of the German land connection, citing uncontrolled cost escalations. The project's cost has more than doubled due to changes in the required speed for the railway and additional noise protection measures. Environmental concerns have also been raised about the project's impact on marine ecosystems and coastal areas. To address these issues, comprehensive environmental impact assessments will be conducted to consider water quality, marine life, and coastal habitats. Advanced tunneling technologies will minimize disturbance to the seabed and sustainable construction materials and methods will be used to reduce the project's environmental footprint. The success of the fake Marn Belt Tunnel will hinge on effective collaboration among environmentalists, engineers, and policymakers. By embracing a holistic approach, the project aims to be a model of responsible infrastructure development. If everything goes according to plan, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel is expected to be completed by 2028, marking a significant milestone in sustainable infrastructure. What do you think about this colossal creation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this project and other exciting developments around the world. Until next time, stay safe. Thank you.